Hello everyone, my name is Tim and today I'm going to go through the Thorin's TP60 head shell. And uh, there's, I've been following a number of forums where uh, people are a little bit confused as to what kind of cartridges can be mounted on these things. And the, and the standard answer, the, the answer is most half inch standard cartridges can be mounted on this, uh, on this head shell. And I'll explain why. Um, so here's the actual uh, TP60 uh, head shell that's found on the TP11 and TP16 um, tone arms made by Thorns. Uh, common on the TD-160s, TD-165s, 166s, 145s, etc., etc., anything that uses those two types of uh, tone arms. And uh, the, uh, the problem with these is they were made before standardization of head shells, where uh, SME standard was uh, kind of adopted universally across uh, most uh, tone arm manufacturers, not all. Uh, but uh, a majority of them. And uh, in the case of the Thorns, it uses a ha standard half-inch mount, which is, uh, which is good. Uh, but what they did do was they put a, an assembly inside the head shell that uh, makes you have to bolt in from the underneath of the uh, cartridges into a uh, metal uh, M2 threaded uh, plate that slides along so you can do your uh, your uh, stylus adjustment from uh, the toner the pivot point to the uh, to the stylus uh, tip and uh, a lot of people see this and they say well I can only uh, bolt in cartridges uh, from underneath on these particular head shells well that's incorrect um, so I'll explain why so here is the standard head shell and if you Remove this plate carefully. Be careful you don't bend it because once they're bent, you can't you can't hide the crease. So you got to be very very gentle in pulling these things off to keep the shape and uh, and and in in uh, good cosmetic uh, condition. So once you pull that off, it's just uh, just light glue or double sided tape that uh, that holds it on. Uh, so it does come off uh, quite easily. You just have to be patient. And underneath it, this is where what what kind of scares people off is you will see that there's a plastic plate there and underneath that plastic plate is a pocket with that metal M2 threaded uh, plate that uh, uh, M2 bolts will bolt into and which looks like that right there and this is the plastic plate that goes over top of it so if you pop that plate out and this you got to be careful. You can uh, try and pry it out. It's, it is a bit of a bugger to get out, and sometimes you actually have to break it in order to get out, get it out. But trust me, uh, I think it's a lot better without the plate in there, unless you're like one of these total geek heads that uh, wants to be totally uh, Thorin's original. I'm not one of those. Um, because once you remove that silly plate, then you can use any standard half-inch uh, uh, bolts that uh, you know of a, of a normal size um, to fit in the cartridge and you can actually uh, do top bolt top mounted or top bolted um, uh, he, uh, cartridges like this uh, gold ring e3 if you notice you don't bolt from the underneath you actually have to on this cartridge because the threads are built into the uh, the cartridge head you actually have to bolt it into the head shell from the top so a lot of people think, well, I can't you you know, if I buy a gold ring E3, I can't put it in a TP60 head shell. Wrong. You can. Uh, it just means you have to do a little surgery on your head shell and be very careful so you don't break anything other than that little plastic piece up there. So that you can see where the bolts go in. They're very, very fine threaded bolts. And you can usually only get them in uh, packages from Europe. And the problem is, of course, all cartridges are non-standard, so you have to have buy a whole set of them because they are different lengths for the different types of cartridges that are out there to mount them. Um, a lot of modern cartridges these days will actually come with a bolt set for that cartridge. So if you want to use that bolt set, you can do this mod in order to uh, bolt it onto the head shell. So uh, there you have it. That's the standard configuration. So normally what I do is I pop those two plates out and I have the actual TP60 head shell right here. And you can see what it looks like with 
the metal plate gone and that plastic uh, guard over top of it removed. So now you have a standard uh, half inch mounted head shell which allows you flexibility of moving the, uh, the distance for your, uh, for your uh, stylus tip and adjusting the, uh, the angle and all that sort of stuff like on a standard SME cartridge. So um, that's usually, I've got a number of, I've got about, a, I don't know, half a dozen at least of these things for my four Thorns turntables, um, extras. Uh, that's just so I can hot swap cartridges and everything. So, um, yeah, that is a, um, that is the way I do it. And it allows me to um, mount any, just about any type of standard half inch mount cartridge onto the TP60. Um, this one you'll see is quite a bit different uh, in looks because this is actually a cloned uh, TP60 that I've uh, I modeled. So I've got a free model that you can download, a 3D model on uh, thingiverse.com. Just type Thor Thorns head shell or whatever and uh, up it'll come and you can download the model. And if you have a friend with a 3D printer or there's a 3D printer service near you, you can print one of these things. It's literally pennies of plastic in order to uh, print one of these things off. They're very, very solid. And acoustically, I cannot tell a difference between uh, this head shell and this head shell, the original and, and my modeled one. So I've, I've got about half and half of the cartridges I, or head shells I use on my turntables are uh, the originals in this, just depending on what cartridge I have uh, mounted on, on that particular head shell. Um, so there you have it. Um, the uh, way that the 3D modeled head shell is converted uh, to the standard uh, mount on the uh, TP11 and TP16 arms is this little piece here. It's in a baggie right now. You can actually see it at the very tip here. This uh, I call it the bullet. And it's made by Audio Salente in, it in Italy. Uh, if you go to their web website or eBay has uh, has these, it's the uh, Thorns uh, mounting adapter, I think is what they call it. Um, and this can be mounted. Here's one of the ones I've just freshly printed off. I haven't cleaned up all the plastic stuff on it yet, but uh, it's an eight millimeter hole in the back here. You just pop that in and you want to get it nice and uh, level. And then once you get that level point, then you can... Uh, uh, just glue it in uh, with a, a good solid glue, glue like uh, crazy glue or whatever and you will have a standard cartridge and then you might have to buy one of these little thorns plates here uh, to cover up the uh, the screw uh, recess there just to make it look like an original the only difference is it has instead of a metal finger lifter it's a plastic one just because you can't readily find the, the metal finger lifters for any uh, uh, anywhere around that I've ever been able to find so that's why I incorporated the finger level level uh, lifter device into the um, into the uh, model so there you have a number of uh, cartridges so here's a Sure M91ED uh, mounted on a, on a standard TP60 head shell with the standard uh, head uh, with the standard bolts bolting on it M2 bolts that are bolted uh, into that metal plate. Uh, the problem being is if I change this out and put a different type of cartridge on it, uh, chances are I will need a different length of bolt in order to bolt it in and that sometimes can be a pain in the butt. Uh, trying to find that and uh, oftentimes you'd have to order them online and wait several weeks to uh, for them to come in um, and again that's the uh, the TP60 with the, the cap removed and you see the plate on it um, this is a, a freshly printed 3d model ready to uh, to be used with uh, with uh, the bullet and here is the one that I'm using currently on my TD165 which is a British themed uh, turntable and uh, uses this uh, uh, modeled cartridge with the, uh, the Gold Ring E3. So it works, uh, works very well. Um, and if you're concerned about any kind of weight differences, you can use a little bit of blue tack and everything and use a, uh, a nice little uh, 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 weigh scale. You can get digital weigh scales for uh, cheap from China that are really, really good. 
and get them weighing exactly the same so there will be actually no difference uh, between them. Um, so there you have it. The difference between, oh and the other thing you would need of course is uh, um, head shell wires uh, to go from the cartridge to the, uh, to the end of the uh, little bullet here and then the other part mates into the arm. So there you have it, a little uh, precy, and, and then the other thing of course is you have this little jig here that uh, allows you to uh, adjust the uh, stylus tip distance from the end of the head shell to the uh, stylus tip to optimize your, uh, your, uh, um, your pivot point to stylus tip distance. And uh, that's just the quick and dirty. I tend to use a, a, a protractor, protractor, depending on whether you're liking bare, bare walled uh, Lofgren or any of the other types of uh, protractors that are out there. So um, that is my quick little explanation on the TP60 head shell and why it can be converted into um, a head shell to hold 90% of the half inch mount cartridges out there. So. Thank you very much for uh, listening, and if you have any questions, uh, post them in the comments below and I'll try and get back to you. Um, I'm probably going to forget something. Uh, I didn't have a script for this one, so I just kind of winged it. And if you have any questions, I'll gladly answer them. Thank you for watching.